Spain and Ethiopia, it is offering tax breaks and other incentives to attract foreign drug manufacturers. The government forecasts that demand for medicine will increase by almost a third by the end of the decade. Spending on medication is also expected to grow to more than $900 million by 2020. Foreign companies have invested about $213 million into the industry in the past two years. The government has promised tax exemptions for factories at an export processing facility on the outskirts of Addis Ababa. Right, so let's uh, discuss this further with Gurum Chala, his life for us in Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa. Gurum, who are some of the names expected to take advantage of this offer? Good evening, Penina. So with uh, the uh, ever-rising number uh, of Ethiopians, uh, the population number that is, now it's uh, 100 plus million people in this country, the need for uh, ph pharmaceutical products is rising at the same time. The government is now calling international ph pharmaceutical companies, as you've been saying earlier, to take advantage of the incentives that it is providing, including tax breaks. We expect also, the Investment Commission expects top 10 internationally known pharmaceutical companies who will be taking advantage of this opportunity, including the GSK, Johnson and & Johnson. And we'll see if they're going to take this advantage uh, the government is offering, Penina. Uh, give us an idea of how much Ethiopia spends on drugs a year and what impact this development is likely to have on the country's economy. So Ethiopia imports most of its uh, pharmaceutical products, medicines and related uh, medical uh, equipment uh, from abroad. Uh, so far, according to the Ethiopian Investment Commission, $700 million per year is spent and that number could rise by 2020 into uh, $900 million. Uh, now, remember, from what Ethiopia needs for its uh, uh, domestic use uh, of pharma pharmaceutical products, only 15% is uh, produced locally. So, uh, so far, the, the gap is so wide and the spending is also increasing. At the same time, the government is trying to find ways of, you know, mitigating the problem of spending too much money on pharmaceutical products. Uh, pharmaceutical products uh, one of the uh, the ways of doing that is perhaps increasing the number of uh, local companies uh, at the same time but the spending is rising and it could also uh, go beyond uh, a billion dollars soon but there have been some arguments groom that Ethiopia lacks sufficient skilled labor and raw materials for this pharmaceutical industry so how is the government planning to make up for that well that is a true argument, and the government admits uh, there is uh, a lack of skill. Also, uh, the organizations which are uh, uh, you know, working on the sector of producing pharmaceutical products in this country uh, are not uh, sufficiently providing, uh, say, quality products uh, to the society uh, in this uh, nation. Uh, for that, the Ethiopia uh, in 2015, for example, had devised uh, a 10-year strategic plan of increasing the number of local manufacturing, uh, uh, pharmaceutical manufacturing uh, companies. And uh, by doing so, as I was saying earlier, it plans to first decrease the amount of uh, hard-earned hard currency from uh, spending it to buy uh, pharmaceutical products uh, from abroad and produce them uh, locally. But at the same time, quality uh, is of the essence. Uh, the government wants to increase the, uh, you know, those 15%, uh, for example, that is being produced in this country, med medicines and otherwise, are not to the quality that everybody expects them to be. So they want to increase the quality first, and second and most important, they want to increase the number of local uh, pharmaceutical uh, manufacturers in this country. Uh, the other thing and most important is skill development. In this country, uh, mo most of the pharmaceutical companies w do not have the necessary skilled manpower. Also, the logistics and buildings at the same time, there is a problem of uh, designing uh, as well, according to the government. Now, there is an industrial uh, park development in this country that everybody knows. Uh, one of the sectors of this industrial parks is the, the pharmaceutical sector development, the specialization that is. So uh, all in all, Ethiopia's government is trying to increase the uh, quality as well as the uh, amount that is being produced in this country in, when it comes to pharmaceutical products. And uh, uh, we shall see that if that's going to be an important uh, successful arena for the government uh, in Ethiopia. All right, Gurum, thank you very much for that. Gurum Chala, like for us there in Addis Ababa.